no competition because Shen is open. If Shen is open, we all know that WBG loves to respect the champion. Mm -hmm. And I uh, like the, the medic squad oh. as, as well. Draga is going to be hovered though. I think this is a champion that has been highly prioritized ever since patch. Uh, 4.2 introduction. We have seen Kate Rose or White try it out against Nas Esports and surprise them <laughs> as well. And a lot of surprises. Let me correct you. Let me correct you, Kia. Since patch 1.0, <laughs> <laughs> this this champion has always been a steady force in competitive because of its flexibility, right? Like, uh, it, it it well when it comes to first pick priority though. You're right, patch 4.2. But we have seen Gragas over and over again. Because why not? You know, this is a high skill cap champion. Um, this champion will perform to its full potential if you kind of know how to really maximize your combo. And uh, if you really know how to engage slash disengage. And we're talking about the best players in the world right now. Mm -hmm. And actually, this, this can be a good answer towards the usual threat that Z poses in the mid lane with the Akali, with mm -hmm. the, the Z as well, because Gragas can just easily defeat both of them at the same time. Kha'Zix yeah. being locked down uh, seems to be an aggressive approach right now, in, invested on Weibo Gaming side. I love it. I, I want to see more of, of these champions being picked up. Looks like yeah. Baby Sika is going to go with the Fiora once again. And this is again what we would be microscoping from game number one up until you know the end of the the series because again Sika a heavy investment to put him on a champion that can win lane and would ultimately win you the game if you ever go ahead that's the Fiora right however if WBG loses on the top side of the map then you, your game plan really crumbles uh, because you know pressure will be on the other side Thunder Talk uh, SMY is no stranger with a Rakan pickup. If ever that Alistar gets a band away, Rakan mm -hmm. to me is his second best champion. And we're looking into the draft overall. WBG's very much saying that hey, you know what, Sika would be winning on the top lane regardless of what you do with the top. Yeah, and this Rakan pick of SMY is one of those that can be highlighted a lot because it allowed them to actually win against win a game against J Team during their match on day number forty five. They had the Jace as well, but it was X by that actually used that. So in terms uh -huh. of flexibility, there's a lot of adjustments that Turn to Talk can still do. And Weibo Gaming, they are trying to take away some of those. Um, Matchups that can be bad here for Weibo Gaming, in particular the Fiora Riven mm. has been, you know, one of those irritating matchups. They don't want that. Renekton, yeah, okay. good, good. Yeah, they have to ban the Renekton because the Fiora is definitely going to lose lane against the Renekton. Uh, Garen is a very stable pick on the top lane. So what uh, we are witnessing right now. Uh, on the side of Thunder Talk is that they're going to focus their resources on both Z and Soil, and that makes absolute sense, right? Like, we all know that uh, Soil and Z can really pack a punch, uh, especially knowing that this Jace can still be flexed onto the jungle. There still is a potential mm -hmm. for an assassin to come up for Thunder Talk, but Weibo Gaming is going for an AP carry in the bot lane. Do they? Oh. Will they? We're going to look it. Okay, oh. so they have decided to not really pursue with the locks, but rather go for the illusion. Never Maybe mind. they should go with the locks if they want to go <laughs> extra aggressive. This is Weibo Gaming. G loves this. Wake Up okay. loves this as well. They have the Gragas. I'm going to be very, very excited about this. Looks like it is yeah. going to be the Jace into the mid lane to have the Shin Zhao in the jungle. I want to pick your brain on this, Autolus. Which draft do you love more? Uh, one thing I'm really concerned about for the drafting of WBG is... Like, the, that last pick, Xin Zhao, is a very good pick against the Lucian and against the Lux, just because of the Crescent Sweep. So if we look into the totality of everything for Thunder Ta, uh, the balance composition, the ability to engage, and plus layer their crowd control with ultimate damage coming from the pokes of Z and Soil, I feel that Thunder Talk has an easier draft to execute and will ultimately win game number one. It's very synergized with the current patch as well, right? In patch 4.2, especially with Gorky here for Soil. Looks like Weibo Gaming is not done with patch 4.1 as well. So having Delusion in the mid lane, Lux as their, their Dragon laner. She loves those bursts and still yeah. remain aggressive. But what I love about this is Wake Up does have his, gra this, his signature Gragas pick. 
Yeah, but the, we are talking about SMY's recon, and uh, it's kind of a... If it's a two-way race between them, I would say it's an equal race. You know, it really depends as to how the the, the match flow uh, would progress. But I have uh, to remind everyone that there was one game in where SMY, uh, with the demolish on the recon, was able to get like two plates on each lane in the early game. So that's just crazy to think about. That just goes to show that SMY. On Thunder Talk is uh, so much ready to play the Rakan, even come playoffs time. And Thunder Talk really loves scaling as well, right? We have seen in the stats as well, they have like uh, 60 plus percent first dragon uh, priority. Meanwhile, yeah. Weibo Gaming does love her, their Herald to get the tower to try and accelerate the game uh. from the early phases. She doesn't think it's going to be fine here despite the Fiora oh. match. I mean, just needs to be extra careful. It's taking a bit Wait. of damage. That is a fight right in front of you, buddy. You have to back away. There is a flash. Goes under the tower. It's going to trade his life. And the worst part is that the wave is pushing towards the side of uh, the Garen, which means that Sika would ultimately lose golden xp mm -hmm. at the time that he gets back yeah you get an extra goal by securing first blood but ultimately i really favor that trade for the garen especially knowing that fiora without a flash is a very vulnerable target because it could have been uh it could have just allowed uh shin to actually back away right and try to to crash the wave uh, onto yeah. the tower and just or maybe just freeze the wave from there but mm -hmm. went a little bit too greedy smy just gonna be poking out fey but not really something that they have to be worried about. Yeah. Wake up is just wanting to protect Faye as much as possible during because yeah. this Rakan can easily go in. If anything, I, I kind of want this start for Sika because he it just goes to show that he is playing aggressively. But you look at this oh, matchup no. now, and this is like the concern that I do have every single time WBG plays, last second repose, doesn't matter. Thunder Talk is well in the lead on the top side of the map. No, no, no! Basically, what is happening? We have anticipated this. We wanted to see him redeem himself, but right now, it's not looking right that, like that. Shin is basically getting the upper hand as a Garen against a Fiora. So I'm just gonna be able to back up. Unfortunately, mm. was able to dodge that. Like binding, SMY finally is here. Thunder talk slowly but surely getting a yeah. better grip here Ooh, in this game. Wow! What a graphic! A hundred percent win rate, and more importantly, you look at the KDA. That's six and a half of uh, kill death assist ratio for uh, Mr. SMY. SMY really has uh, elevated himself to be a must-watch support for Thunder Talk. I know that we have to talk about Z and Soil, but to me, SMY really uh, makes sure that this combination of Soil and Z work wonders. Mm -hmm. They make the team shine even better and make the best possible initiation place to lay it out for their teammates. And I think that uh -huh. just makes it both of the, the, these teams really formidable right now still same struggle by Sika even if the vitals are right in front of him yeah. he cannot actually take it wake up just gonna be body slamming away to try and interrupt the engage but now Wait. xy is here wake up and actually get taken down he's dead Faye. he's gonna be left alone hunter talk gets one kill them recognizing that the support was just level four uh, was the go signal right yesterday we saw an all-in uh, by hide onto a level four support uh, and it's kind of the same idea, right? Whenever you have that advantage, level 5 to level 4, you kind of want to uh, make sure that you get to use your ultimate to at least try to get that kill. Because by the time that the uh, objective no really way. starts, and uh, speaking of by the time of the objective really starts, looks like the demise of WBG on the top side has started. This is a sad game right now for Weibo Gaming Chief tried to help out and now he is going to be in trouble. Fan tries to help, does deal a lot of damage here onto SMY, going to be flashing away but Fan flashes in to try and execute the Rakan. Oh, He'll be able to do so in the very end binding. and saves G at the very least. That's two kills here for Fan. Uh, the, the skill shot accuracy of Chi has always been so so good and to me WBG has been always about Chi finding those timely kills with Fan being there. Uh, to really end everything uh, for, for WBG. But 
still we we have to look into the matchup on the top lane and just feel sad about what is happening right now you look at the grand challenge being invested here by Sika. it's against a level 6 garen everyone in the baron lane should know that this is not going to work well into your favor one yeah. level gap to me is already equivalent of one component item so let it be a lesson for everyone if you are under leveled do not do not just do not engage yeah, on their level, the, uh, the the gold in terms of uh, the gap in terms of gold as well is starting to balloon here on the Baron Lane side. Thunders are basically winning despite uh -huh. their their casualties on the bot side. Ooh, right now, Xpy can be starting this dragon up. Pan is just lingering in the area, but I think. Oh. It's gonna be okay here for Thunderdog. They have cleared the wave in the yeah. bot lane. Z and SMY are here. Uh -huh. they want to interrupt. X by engages. They want to deal damage, but actually gets body slam away. So it's gonna be joining them. Wake up needs to actually disengage. Doesn't have any mana anymore oh. as the package gets used. SMY almost gets blown up. SMY. Still gonna get taken down and trade for the dragon. Yeah, she has been just so deadly uh, with this Locks pickup. That's a good consolation prize, but if we talk about, or if we look at the current situation, that still is Thunder Talk winning uh, in my eyes, because that's, you know, the scaling dragon uh, to their side. And uh, on the top side, you know, if you are able to really win your lane this hard, wait, is that another solo kill? No, no way. way, right? Like, oh. I think that's a, uh, huh? All right, we're going to, yeah, well, Shin is so healthy and he's just going to do this thing over and over again. Now Sika is definitely feeling the pressure of this Garen. And if you are Sika, this is already a lost lane. This is already a dead lane. You cannot do anything now. Um, all you can really hope is that Shin overextends and the jungler will be there to help you out because just now it was one, uh, it was just one level gap, but now it's already two level gap. Uh, two um, levels gap here, Giyang. So this is already over uh, for Sika. Yeah, yeah the, the only thing that Sika can actually do is wait and be patient. Try to just split push a little bit. And now in the mid lane, no. Ryan is going to be falling down. That's so sad here for Wake Up. Drop last hitting fan as well will force him back. Yeah. Thunder talk slowly but surely putting them even in a bigger pressure right now. Yeah, and just a few more seconds before the tower plate expires. And I mean, if you're the Fiora, you should be targeting those tower plates, not the other way around. If you look at the tower plates on the top side, none to be had for Sika. Meanwhile, Shin has just enjoyed like 300 extra gold for himself, plus getting mm -hmm. that kill in the mid lane. Oh man, this oh, Gary man. is going to be a problematic. A big problem here for Weibo Gaming, as well as when he actually is involved in team fight, right? Because he has a lot yeah. of gold. So able to disengage, dodge that light binding. So yeah. uh, the uh, final spark is going to be okay here. 2,000 gold lead and Thunder Talk, since yeah. we know that they love scaling. And yeah. Weibo Gaming normally wins games when they have a big lead at the very start. It's basically Thunder Talk right now that's winning. Yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. Like, even the trade of the Red Heralds to the Dragon, well... Wait, there's a four-man dive, but you cannot really dive against the Xin Zhao, right? With a Crescent Sweep yeah. available, he, he can really just turn things around for you. And now you look at the top side, it's a free lane for the Garen to just push over, and that could be the first tower on the top side. But immediately, WBG has recognized that they can take down the tower in where the Rift Arrow was able to uh, do majority of the damage, I was, was at least able to get the first tower of the game. Mm -hmm. Tower in the mid lane is very important. I think it's not going to be shaking Thunder Talk uh, that much, especially the, uh -huh. the goal is to just scale. They have <laughs> a, a lane winning already. I don't yeah. think Bainisika can, can win this, uh, no, win against Shin at any point in the game. <laughs> due to you know the what he needs? So what he needs what? is an Elder Dragon buff. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking at the itemization of the Garen, uh, he also now has one of the best counter items uh, to the Fiora, which is the Bramble Vest, because uh, basically Fiora really can win uh, the 1v1 matchups whenever he can out-sustain his opponent, but the Bramble Vest is going to deny just that. Oh, easy gank here into the bottom lane. Faye gonna be flashing Ooh. away. So he's fine. Okay. Wake Up's gonna be here as well, but All he's right. extra careful. Final Spark not hitting anyone means yeah. that is again a key ultimate on cooldown here for the Dragon Lane of Weibo Gaming. 
Yeah, but that's just a few seconds anyway. Um, I mean, that's also another concern I do have for the lineup of WBG, right? Like, later on, this Garen would be that neat shield against the locks. Um, normally, you kind of want to position uh, in a way that you will be able to hit priority targets if you're the locks. But how are you able to do that if there's like a very beefy frontline line mashing uh, mm -hmm. going into your face? And, and this is just going to be so sad. Wait, I have a question for you. Are they brothers and sisters? They are, I right? Like, yeah, Garen and Lux, how much? I, I, I don't know. I, I, like, I, I know that they're, they're, they're both like, the uh, comrades. Yeah. yeah, they're, they're like <laughs> really long-term comrades. But I'm not sure if they're siblings. <laughs> uh, uh, but whatever is uh, their blood relation, it doesn't matter because it does look like the Garen is not having uh, any of the Lux's sorcery right now. I mean, you look at Shin, he's just playing damp. Oh no, wake up, gonna be in trouble, he's dead. Thunder talk, just gonna be having easy time accessing the back line. They have to give this dragon away. They also use the culling. I think final fight is oh, okay. not gonna be enough. They dive Let's on the buy. team. Oh no, he's gonna be in trouble as well. Boom. That's a burst from soil. And another player dead on the side of Weibo Gaming. Fan can can maybe try to steal his out, but it will be at the cost of his life if ever. He has to give this away. Oh uh, well, uh, you would actually want to try and test to well, steal this, yeah, because that's the the better play, right? At that point, if Thunder Talk does end up getting that Mountain Dragon for free, plus getting two kills, it will just be disastrous to the chances of WBG because at this point, Thunder Talk can just poise f to go for the triple threat, the trifecta of the three dragons win condition that we all know is so so good uh, to the win rate of whoever gets it we'll look into this particular replay and we all know that shin was able to cover two people and if you are a cheater you you, you just have no business doing this right mm -hmm. you, uh, and this is like the problem that i do have with this locks pickup if ever that the locks goes behind he can just easily get assassinated really yeah. really fast and smy again just doing wonders on this we can't pick up uh, quick to his feet was able to cancel out uh, Kha'Zix and at that point like you know uh, even though it seems like uh, this is still a very close game in terms of pool like f just 4k just 5k to me this is really thunder talk just saying that hey you know what WBG you have to think about the next game because I just don't think you know at this point this is losable for thunder talk <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the, the amount of stats that they have right now is insane. This is my favorite uh, dragon stacks, actually. The ocean dragon and the the mountain dragon. Just two, those two alone. It's Double basically sustain. Uh, in the insane sustaining yeah, durability, yeah. right? And if we look at the, the lineup of Weibo Gaming, they rely on burst. But how can you do that now when Thunder yeah. is just this beefed up? Uh, actually, to me, this is... Well, ocean dragon is not really my uh, favorite dragon in fact you know of all the four dragons i hate ocean dragon the most because it's just like garen passive that's it like yeah uh, you have to be out of combat for it to really do something uh oh, oh. yeah there's some why i might actually be in trouble but still able to stay Ooh. away shin this time is having the best impact Boom. in the fight wake up dies that is so sad under talk gets one kill and now they're establishing control on the top side river Oh, this is going to be very fast, right? Like, uh, the, the amount of gold the Thunder Talk does have right now, amount of damage as well, but they're not going to be ultra greedy and just wants to play it methodically. This waiting fans attempt to even sniff this Baron. Yeah, and SMY is doing a, a heck of a job actually just preventing anyone from getting vision here in, inside the pit. Baby's guy is here, but it's going to be stopped here by Z. Fan wants to try and steal up, but it's be being prevented and killed He's at touched. the very end. A stunner dog gets the Baron. Baby is going to be the next target. Nothing that Weibo Gaming to do. They tried to interrupt, but they did not succeed. And in game number one, it's as clear as a day, Giyang. Thunder Talk is really just a better team. At least for game one, right? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> things can still change. And if there is one thing that needs to get changed to the side of WBG, yeah. that's the top side of the map. Top side. Bef even, before, even before the series started, we have been so vocal in saying that WBG's Beijing Sika has to step up. Because every single time that he loses his lane, it just makes this game a lot harder for his squad, for his team. And uh, this is still a, f you know, this is w a Wild Rift game cannot be won with one lane really being that gapped. And and mm -hmm. that was a total definition of gap, right? He was yeah. just, it's he was just diffed. 
in the top lane. Def uh, absolutely. We did not feel any presence of Baby Sika except for the the gold that he handed over to Shin. Even during that Baron fight, he did not do anything. They were basically ignoring him. And right now, Shin Ooh. is very happy to kill the Kha'Zix <laughs> while in the presence of Baby Sika. And he knows that he cannot do anything. Now oh, SNY joins, they got two kills. Yeah, and I think this is, well, at 7-1 and 3, this is close to a legendary performance from Shin because we have to remember, yeah, this is indeed a legendary performance by him because that was a return kill that he was able to do uh, come level 1, right? That's the only death by Shin in this game. <laughs> yes. If you are uh, WVG, what do you do come game number 2? Well, I guess it's time to reverse the situation, right? I think it's time. To really say that I think we have to play the weak side for Beijing Sika because if we give him the priority, we give him the winning matchup, it's not really going to swim out into anything. And right now, this it's just oh, one sided beat down by Thundertaw. 12,000, 13,000 gold leads, three dragon stacks. They're just waiting for the next Baron so that they can finally close this game. And I, think, I don't mm -hmm. think that they even need that right yeah. now, given the amount of lead that they have. Two people cannot kill Shin, and that involves a Fiora. I mean, that's three, that's actually. How insane it is. Even if you send three people to try to kill him uh, down, uh, just as long as because because like the the only threat that they have against the Garen is the Lucian, right? But Lucian is also that far behind right now uh, to the mm -hmm. competition, and so I just think this is like one of those situations in where the Garen, even if he dies, all your team or all your all your members will also die in exchange. Oh, wake up with a play. Desperation play. And not much impact actually. SMY is still able to sniff them out, oh, but it is it. actually gonna get taken down. Able to flash away as Pan chase him out, but they lost a lot of members already. Sword dropped here on Baby Sika, still able to stay alive. But Jin is spinning to winning on Faye and isn't feeling any of the bullets that Faye tries to gun him down. And the Big rest sword. of the members start their thought. They just want to finish the game. They're done with game one. Oh uh, yeah, this is like as we predicted. If the top side ever goes over to Thunder Talk, WBG won't even be able to sniff a close game at all. Man, Thunder Talk! As uh, I was saying, I was uh, trying to say that WBG has the experience advantage.